Welcome to another episode of Ozfish. Dave here, let's get some. Just sneaking around in the shallows on a Sunday afternoon in amongst the mangroves and the oysters. Just waiting for the tide to come in a little bit more and uh, just flicking around with a, uh, a little hard body and some uh, plastics. And uh, I can see the bait flicking up on the edges. So just see if I can catch a few flat in a few brim. Oops, a fish. Flathead by the feel of him. First tiny little flathead for the afternoon. Anyway, it's a start. Yeah, when you're flathead fishing, it's the little tiny ones that'll actually get you and spike. You know, they're really, really fast and really, really quick. So when you're getting them really big flathead, you know, they're actually easier to handle uh, than the little fellas. But um, anyway, it's a start. Let's get him back. Fish. Another small flatty. Just a little bit bigger than the last one. Uh, yeah, the old flathead, the little ones, what I do is I, I do two things with them. I either pick them up and uh, top of that dorsal fin there. What I'll do is I'll just squeeze them really, really, really hard. And uh, yeah, they'll tend to freeze. Just while you pop that hook out. Or right, another thing you can do to them. Yeah, they call it like thumb on their bum, so you stick there your thumb really hard yeah, on their anus and uh, then stick them upside down and uh, kind of puts them into ketosis probably put me into ketosis as well but uh, anyway that freezes them really good too but uh, slightly bigger than the last one so let's get him back fish a little bit better could be a brim not real big but brim I'd say yeah oh good fish Wants to go under the mangroves. Too bad a brim. Pick me up in the shallows there, you know, hard running water, probably about four feet deep. You know, like, uh, yeah, it's kind of got that uh, Z Man grub down. So, uh, yeah, probably about 36, 35, 36. So, uh, yeah, beautiful little fish. Getting back in. Another fish, small flatty.
two inch gold prawn man, my all time favourite lure, you know, like, yeah, it'd be close to being legal, but, uh, yeah, let's get him back. Squeeze him tight. Oh, grab him, grab him. Don't be scared of him. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to duck into a sneaky little spot I call the Hole of Death. Um, tiny little hole in between gnarly oysters all around you, like, and, um, yeah, you can only come in here on the high tide, but um, at times the Hole of Death holds really good flathead, like um, Silver Trevally, uh, sometimes Jew, and sometimes uh, good brim. So uh, let's just sneak in and see if we can build a few in the Hole of Death. Yeah, when you see the bait flicking right on the edge, sometimes there'll be a little tailor chasing them. And sometimes what they'll do, they'll, they'll be the flat, it'll be under them. And they're chasing that bait, sort of like big brim. Chasing that bait right on the edge. And uh, yeah, whenever you see bait flicking, man, throw straight at it. Fish. So yeah, I can see that bait flicking. And yeah, it's a little tailor right on the edge. So here's a fish. Little tiny flatty I'd say. Tiny little flathead in the hole of death. Okay, they have come back to the hole of death on the run out tide. Be it deadly when there's not much water, but uh, anyway, we hit a fish. What we got? I got an eight pound leader, so yeah, just gonna take your time with him. Oh, yeah, nice flatty. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not too bad a fish out of the hole of death. I'll get back in there before I run aground. There's another fish. Small flatty. Just a little fella. It's ticking. Get him back. 